A grieving family getting ready to mark their first Christmas without a loved one is feeling additional hurt tonight. Good evening and thank you so much for joining us. I'm BC on Leary and I'm Tim Blotz. The family of Lanil Frazier says the city of Minneapolis destroyed a sidewalk memorial to him just days before Christmas. Here's Fox 9's Paul Bloom. It's very hard. Like Thanksgiving was not easy for us. Christmas is not easy for us. We didn't even go get a tree or Christmas lights, decorations, none of that, because it's like we're just not in the spirit right now. Cheryl Fraser desperately misses her brother Linnell, finding comfort gathering here with her tight knit family at the North Minneapolis intersection where the 40 year old was killed in July. Even though he's not here physically, but spiritually, he's here with us. Linnell Fraser was driving a Jeep. He had a green light and was attempting to pass through the intersection at Lindale and 41st Avenue's north when he was fatally struck by a Minneapolis police officer involved in a high speed suspect pursuit. The terrifying crash captured on gas station surveillance video. Fraser, an innocent victim, the officer Brian Cummings was subsequently charged with second degree manslaughter and criminal vehicular homicide. In the months since, the family has built up a memorial at the site. It's where they wanted to gather to mark their first Christmas without Linnell. It hurt. It, it really hurt. But earlier this week, the Frasers believe the city of Minneapolis played Scrooge when public works crews swept through the space with a garbage truck and heavy machinery captured here in this video Wednesday morning. This whole entire thing was full of my brother. They came and ruined everything. That was, that was like thousands of dollars. Just put it to my brother memorial. Come on, man. And they just came here and just dug it up and just throw it away like my brother is trash. Of course, Friday, a holiday here at City Hall, so it is pretty quiet, but we were able to reach a spokeswoman inside the communications office. She confirmed that there was an inspection order for debris removal at the site and that crews removed garbage but left behind memorial items. And here is that order citing a nuisance violation with crews authorized to clear firewood and trash from the space in front of the gas station. The Frasers disappointed to arrive here later that day to just find these two large photos of Linnell and a couple of small crosses left behind, telling me they wish the city had worked with them to maintain their cherished space. They're now vowing to rebuild the memorial and plan to spend Christmas right here as planned in Minneapolis. Paul Bloom, Fox 9.